Hello students, welcome to our class of Automata. In today's class we are going to discuss about Turing machine. Now on our last classes we have already learned about push down Automata PTA and uh, FSM finite state machine also. Now we have uh, constructed NFA, DFA, push down Automata and everything. Now in today's class we are going to discuss about another new type of machine that is Turing machine. It is uh, quite similar with the other two, but uh, there are some differences also. Like uh, in push down automata, we had uh, one infinite stack, but here we don't have any stack and no memory. Uh, and in two other machines, in uh, FSM and PDA, we can move from uh, left to right, that is in a sequential manner only. But in case of Turing machine, we can go from left to right and as well as from right to left. Now both a uh, communication or both way traversing is possible. <coughs> and uh, in Turing machine, uh, there is another unique feature that is a machine can, this machine can replace the input tape symbols uh, with something else according to the logic in the machine. Uh, now uh, this is new uh, now in uh, previous machines that we learned uh, we can only consume the character or the input symbols uh, from the uh, given string but we cannot change it but in a Turing machine it is the unique feature of Turing machine that we can change the input uh, tape symbol with uh, something that is required in our machine. Now let's uh, discuss about the formal definition. Now this is our Turing machine. A Turing machine is a seven tuple thing where we have Q that is the final set of state uh, including Q0. Q0 means the starting symbol. Here is the Q0. Now sigma is the finite set of input symbol not including um, B or blank. Uh, gamma is the finite set of tape symbols including the sigma that is uh, written in here and delta that is the transition function that means uh, at uh, what uh, input you will uh, go to at which state and what will be uh, wh whether you will uh, go to left or right and what will be the new symbol we will discuss uh, further now q0 is uh, the initial state b, b means blank tape symbol that means uh, it will be nothing like empty or epsilon like that and uh, f is the set of final state now maybe this is our uh, turing machine the turing machine will looks like this where we have a machine that is this yellow part is a machine and it has a, a read write head that will be used uh, to consume the tape symbols and this is our tape where we will keep our input string and apart from the actual input string symbols we will have some B that is the blank symbols uh, before this uh, actual string and also at the end of this actual string ok now let's take an example and discuss in more detail how a Turing machine actually works. now this is a very simple Turing machine made by us where we will simply uh, traverse from left to right and it will consume every symbol it uh, take and it will just uh, go to from left to right now uh, now take some sample data here now maybe our input symbol is uh, made of a and b b b a now this is our input symbol now as we learned uh, in uh, before that any input uh, tape symbol must be attached with some blank so i'm writing is as capital b and uh, here also before also so now this is the situation where we have series of blank symbols uh, before and uh, the actual tape symbol and then the blank uh, series of blank symbol again now this machine has three states q0 q1 and h where we will start from q0 this is our uh, initial state now we will start reading from here that means uh, from this leftmost blank symbol and we I am representing this blank symbol uh, as delta and once we read this delta or the blank symbol we will replace by delta that means we will keep this capital B as capital B and then we will come to uh, the next state that is uh, Q1 and also our tape input output reading head will also change from 
uh, this symbol to right that means it will come here that means uh, this this steps uh, reading right head uh, will come from here to here okay now uh, we we consume this small b and right now we are in small a okay now here in q1 we define two rules once you read any small a we'll simply replace this by small a and once we uh, and we will come to write that means we read a and we will come here once we read any small b we will replace by small b and we will come to write that means we will come here and again we are getting a and we replace it by a and once we get any b we replace by b and uh, in this way we will come here uh, that means at the end now here we are consuming again one blank symbol once you consume any blank symbol then this rule will be applied now once we have this blank symbol it is ensuring us that we are at the end of the string so that means everything has been consumed and uh, we must stop it now so that's why our rule is if it is blank then keep it blank and stop you can write it as l also in some books we also specify here l where uh, you will come here that means your uh, this control this control head will once it is in here that is a blank symbol it will stop in here it is a very uh, formal conception now you can uh, come to l or write or anywhere and here this h is the final step where our machine will stop okay now this is a very very simple turing machine that is traversing any input uh, tape that is made of a and b now on our next slides we are going to discuss about more complex turing machine this is really very simple <laughs> you are you are applying nothing you are just simply consuming every character and uh, reading it from left to right just simply traversing machine in next uh, examples we are going to discuss about more uh, complex uh, thing like how we can make one's complement two's complement or maybe we will do shifting operation addition operation and etc so i think uh, the concept is clear to you and stay tuned uh, stay tuned with us and we will discuss in the next part about more about this turing machine okay thank you